Okay, let's talk about the cost. What are the costs when you try to create a BV? It depends. But let's look what they're saying here. The cost for running a BV are, so they say the cost for running a BV. Keep in mind, you need to create a BV and then you need to keep running the BV. Yeah, you need to create a BV and then you need to keep running on BV. So let's see it. One off registration fee for the cafe car registration. Okay, that can be $50, 50 euros. Starting capital, one cent, correct. Notary fees vary. Could be anything between 500 and 1,000 dollars. 1,000 euros, sorry. Um, yes, keep in mind if you are foreigner, there are other processes you need to follow and it can increase the, the price. Because if you deliver documents to the notary, they need to verify if those documents are real or not. And you need to do that otherwise in your home country. Um, country. And sometimes that process takes time. So keep that in mind. Bookkeeping accountant fee varies between 600 and 1,800 per year. Um, technically, yeah, that's correct. So like any business, BV has to keep a record. BV also have to produce annual accounts and deposit them with the KVK which data you have to submit depends on the company size. We're not going to read this, but technically they are right. So technically when you look at here, you have a BV. You need to pay for in order to create it. So you pay the notary and most time you pay the chamber of commerce. So you pay the cha chamber of commerce notary chamber of commerce you need to have money for the accountant so you have the accountant and let's see you also need to have yeah the accountant bookkeeping and you need to put money in the bv so technically you have four things you need to have the money for accountant and you put money in the bv yeah. it also depends which industry you are because sometimes you need to get certain kind of licenses you need to also pay for those licenses or sometimes you're starting out and you want to hire people you also have those kind of costs but let's keep it simple here we have those four costs you need to put money in the company you need to pay notary you need to pay the KVK and accountant and when you pay those things you are starting out and these costs are for running the BV and you have other costs just like every normal business. There are certain kind of way in order to reduce these costs, you can buy or make sure, um, use of um, software that make it easy for you to keep track of your bookkeeping. And I think Moneybird was one of them in the Netherlands. It's really easy. You can use it if you have a BV. And when you have an account, they can just check every six months and they will see everything is good connect what i'm trying to say is you have that program you connect your bank account to it when you have invoice you put invoice into it and it really make your your process of booking really easy so you can use bookkeeping software in order to make it easy for you and then let your accountant check it every six months of every year in order to make sure that everything is right so technically accounting you only need it to once a year or anything so that's those are the costs for incorporating it and keep running it and yeah if you have question about it what you can do is you see on the screen a, uh, a link go to the link go into the law center and the law center you can ask me question about this keep in mind when you create and incorporate an um, bv as a foreigner you need to make sure you have the right papers and getting those right paper bring extra cost Okay, that's about it for this part about the cost. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I'll make mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gonna get it. You hear me, I'm in, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be.